Welcome to this unboxing. This box from Mantec, and we are going to see what's inside it. Alright, so this is what we get. We have a Boeing Guard terrain trait, battlefield objectives. And this is our objectives. The dice for Boeing Guard, they are a special kind. We have five red, two white, and one blue. Check out the dice. So the red ones are with the most blank results, more good results than, and the white are almost good. Some blank sites, I think there's one blank site, and the blue one is guaranteed one hit every time. Four dice, and this is how they look. Uh, good, uh, in my opinion, there should be a little more heft to them. They're a little on the light side, but uh, really good pronounced uh, icons on them. Okay, wine guard book. Well, let's open it up and see how it looks inside. And here you have all the rules. You have a sample with three rules, but here is every rule uh, for the game so far and uh, uh, it's a good uh, new book smell on them good pictures and uh, a little fluff and here are all the scenarios in the free version you have that's a cool art in the free version you have two uh, scenarios and here you have 12 or so and it's a really good book good heft to it as you can see here it's a hard cover and very good uh, sides to it like it okay the terrain crate let's open this baby up this is how this looks this terrain crate have the tokens wounds and uh, fatigue and uh, combined knockdown and stuff good thickness to it and pounce one out you can see it's a really good thickness and here is the terrain crate and you can I, I like you can store this as this I, I wish there was a place for having the counters as well in this terrain crate so you have everything in one box that you can travel with but um, it's a good uh, little thing here that you can have everything in one box and this is how it looks and just give me a moment and I can show you how they can look when you are when you paint this up so this is how they can look uh, when you are painting them up so you can see I really I really like this terrain piece they are made of uh, kind of a rubbery it's not plastic it's kind of a rubbery feel to it so it has a, a little different uh, heft to it when you are painting it you can see there are a little gap there because it's glued to the base so everything is already finished glued on so that's good and if you don't like the gap you can just a little green stuff and that's will be good so so this is how it can look and i really like uh, this one where you have this wooden uh, thing that you are signaling to your people come and help <laughs> and you can start the fire and here is how it looks not painted to me this looks uh, a little bit like it's 3D printed with a really good 3D printer. I'm not sure if that's the case, but for my eyes, it seems like there are like tiny, tiny telltale tales of uh, 3D printing going on here. Uh, but I, I can't tell you with words how how I can see it. But to me, it feels like it. Uh, the, the product 
uh, it being a kind of a rubbery, plasticky feel to it, and um, it's uh, super tiny lines uh, all, all over the miniatures, and you can see it best on plain surfaces. You can see some telltale tales that this is made here. You can see it. Uh, yeah, that is a 3D printed object. Um, I, I can't. I, I can't vouch for it. I can't, uh, you know, throw money on it. Uh, it. It's been true, but and here you can see how it is. Uh, it's a rubbery feel to it. That's the unpainted version. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm really really happy with uh, this little loot here. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, are you picking up one guard? And uh, yeah, I, I really recommend you to do that because uh, the games I had has been super fun. Uh, I, I want to play it all the time now. Uh, so yeah.